direct proofs. Almost all of mathematics can be viewed as a series of if this then that type statements. For example, if you add 4 and 7, then you will get 11. For example, if A, B, and C are the sides of a right triangle with C the largest, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem written as an if-then statement. Now, the inf information right after the if is called the hypothesis. If you add 4 and 7 is the hypothesis. If A, B, and C are the sides of a right triangle with C the largest, that's a hypothesis. The information after the then is called the conclusion. So if you have this hypothesis, then you conclude the conclusion. Now, to prove one of these statements with a direct proof, we start with the hypothesis and work with that information and whatever else we already know, and we end up with a conclusion. For example, if we have a right triangle with sides A, B, and C, then we can make a big square with four of these triangles, one, two, three, four, around a big square on the inside, or we could make uh, the same size square by putting two of the triangles here and two of the triangles there, leaving a big square like that, and we say, oh look, the square on the inside, we have a C squared plus four triangles, or we have an A squared and B squared plus four triangles, the overall areas are the same, and therefore a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is a direct proof. We started with what we supposed, a right triangle with sides a, b, and c, and we ended up concluding that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the conclusion. Let's do another example. I propose, it's not a theorem, it's not that exciting, but it's a proposition, that the sum of any two odd numbers is an even number. And a lot of this is going to come from what does it mean to be even and odd. Okay, so, proof. We start with two odd numbers, m and n. Now, by the definition of odd, we know that m is 2 times some integer plus 1 more, 2k plus 1. And similarly, well, a lot of people want to say, well, n is odd, so n is also 2k plus 1. But if n is 2k plus 1 and m is 2k plus 1, those are exactly the same. That only would happen if m and n are equal. So n is probably 2 times some different number plus 1. So n is 2l plus 1. Now this might be, m must, might be an odd number like 5, 2 times 2 plus 1, and n might be an odd number like 9, 2 times 4 plus 1. See? Anyway, we want to prove that the sum of these two numbers is even. So, if we add the two numbers, m and n, m plus n, we get the same thing as 2k plus 1 plus 2l plus 1. And if we combine these, what do we do? We get 2k, 2K we get 2l, and then the 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get 2k plus 2l plus 2. And all of these things have a 2 in it. We can factor it out and get 2 times k plus l plus 1. And k, l, and 1 are all integers. k plus l plus 1 is an integer. And by the definition of even, anything that can be written as 2 times some integer is an even number. So what have we said? We've said that m plus n is an even number. And that is what we had set out to prove. We wanted to prove that if you take two odd numbers and add them together, you get an even number. Well, we took any two odd numbers, m and n, and we got an even number, quad erat demonstrandum, which was what was to be demonstrated.